when you believe in your own lies and in your own incapability or in your own arrogance, that is where, because we have gone back more than 15, 20 years. Okay, now people have their, it was those days in the 80s where I heard that people will have commodities in their shops and then because of prices, they will come and then sell, auction those things for other people to get the opportunity to buy. But in a democratic dispensation, that you enter into an agreement with government, bonds. The government decides that I am not going to give you your money for how many years. So I will come there. But the point is that, remember, that I told you, the president told us, that I've quoted the president, that they were going to deliver these Agenda 111 before 2025. Mm. Now, this is their own document mm -hmm. when they appeared before the committee. And this document is titled... Ghana Priority Health Infrastructure Project, Agenda 111, parliament, right. parliamentary update. Listen to when the Secretariat told us that they were going to finish this project. Listen, and I'm quoting. An estimated amount of 300 million will be required to support this output, 300 million. And this output is what I'm going to tell you, this. We further project that at a rate of progress, about 20% of district, 20% of district hospitals will be fully completed in 2024, 20%. Now, they didn't end there. Completion forecast, bullet one. 20% of hospitals could be completed in 2024. Bullet point two, 20% of hospitals could be completed in 2025. Bullet point three, 30% of hospitals could be completed by 2027, the last bullet point on this one. 30% of hospitals could be completed after 2027. After, we don't even know the date. So the president lied. There's no other way to describe it than lies. It was a clear lie. This is from their own document. So initially, <clears throat> we said that, look, there was not going to be any 111 hospitals. What they have set out to do is to leave a lot of uncompleted sites. So they will, they will do excavation here. They will put blocks there. They will put sand here, as you have seen. So when you ask them, they will say, oh, works are ongoing. But, so, but, but, but really, to what end? That is the point. If, if you say that is the plan, that the is question the plan. is, to what end? That is the plan, because the president has said something, and he must be seen to be, to be doing something. Not to be committed to it. Because, you see... I, I, we no, need... no, no, this is a serious allegation okay. you're making. Are you suggesting uh -huh. that this administration has thrown dust into the eyes of Ghanaians, claiming they're going to put up, even if they don't complete 111 facilities, mm -hmm. claiming they're going to do this, when in fact they have absolutely no intention of doing that? Is that what you're purporting? Yes, but do I... As ranking members... Yes, of, of course. But do I have to say any, uh, uh, anything... I've quoted copiously from their own document, telling you that, look, hey, we are not going to do 111 hospitals. They are saying so. And it, they, it, they are it, telling it, you that even the 20%, they need $300 million. We don't have that $300 million in our budget. Mm. And don't forget, these projects I have mentioned, the ones that President Mahama undertook, we had what we call dedicated sources of funding, BAMED, NMS, AFDB, and what have you. Where is the dedicated source of funding for General Mahama? So they are pushing the burden to future governments. So I don't need to be a suicide to tell you that, look, the people are embarking on leaving a lot of uncompleted sites. So there are sites, which, I mean, some works are going on, but I'm telling you, take it from me, before elections, they'll be seeking to commission about two or three or five maximum. Then they'll come and tell you with pomp and pageantry that they'll come and, oh, agenda, one, one, agenda, one. Where in real terms, Massa, Massa, if you are a president in any serious jurisdiction, common sense, why must you leave projects that are 70% complete, 80% complete, seven years down the lane? You haven't completed that. If you go to uh, Abitifi now, if we are going back to Abitifi to, complete, to continue Abitifi Hospital, we have to demolish more than 70% of the structures there before we can continue. It's not causing financial loss to the state. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't. Wait.